And now, your selection. Meet the stars. We're shutting down the whole division. How was your day? I lost my J-O-B. Desperate times. Call for desperate measures. A daycare center, you and me. You're already taking care of one, can how much harder can 10 be? Ah! 10 times? You know what type of responsibility that is? Yes, and I'll be just as careful with them as I am with Ben. Oh, hey, man, don't be just rubbing your head into stuff. Well, he's this driven guy who loses his job, and uh, he can't get a new job, and he doesn't want to lose his house, and his wife is working, so he has to come up with something. And this is a bright idea. You think I'd be good at taking care of kids? Absolutely. Excuse me. Are these your kids? No. In this hectic chase to become, you know, king of the world, you know, he, he, he's lost out on, on the moments that are most precious, and that's be your son. And through circumstance um, and hardship, he gets the opportunity to really spend time with his kid and learn even more about the important virtues of child rearing. It's supposed to be temporary, and the kids kind of, you know, he gets a relationship with the kids, they start to, you know, bond, and it turns into this uh, beautiful, sweet thing. <laughs> I actually play a couple of guys. It's me play a couple of guys, um, but I'm great with kids. I have a great time with kids, so uh, I thought it was a perfect role for me. I'm the greatest man Like a rhinestone cowboy Well, I think Marvin is just a kid. I don't think he's planning on, I don't think he's doing anything different or looking at them as children. I think he's looking at them as equals and that's what makes him interesting. <laughs> He certainly seems like, like he knows what he's doing. It would be really maudlin and contrived if I or Eddie or Steve tried to be nice to the kids and tried to be warm with the kids. We just, you know, we're, we're nice guys and we're just working with the kids and being normal. Like you come in and you see like for breakfast a kid if you're having like a donut and a soda and it's like, oh no, <laughs> oh no. The kid is running all over the place. Oh, but... Time around the Murphy house is probably pretty funny because he's really clever with the kids and he's very real. How'd it go in there? I missed. What does that mean? I missed. What? Oh. Action. What do the kids do when they come to daddy daycare? They, they run around. <laughs> What's it like working with Eddie Murphy? Well, it's nice meeting him. Remember when you broke my yo-yo? I did not and break then, your yo-yo. Yes, you did. did. You're killing me. <laughs> You're really killing me. That's what I thought. Why do you like being a movie star? It's so fun. It's great. I'm in California. Where do you live? I'm in Hong Kong. Where's Hong Kong? And I really like doing my job. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? What is it? When I threw that paper at Eddie Murphy, it was so funny because he went like, every Daddy Daycare.